Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, excuse me, babe. I'm recording right now. Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, this is Ayize, my aunt, and my lovely wife is sitting on the couch. Um, she won't be joining me today. I'm relaxing. She's relaxing, but it's all good. Hey, I just wanted to drop you all um, something real quick, and um, you know that I think will edify, elevate your relationship. A lot of talk has been going on recently about you know these reality shows, these these um you know TV shows that are really depicting relationships in a negative way, especially in the African American community. And so, what I want to lift up for you all is the fact that you become what you think you are. You become what you think about the majority of the time. And what you think about the majority of the time is really based off of what you're exposed to. And so I want to really question you all and ask you, what are you exposing yourself to when it comes to relationships? What are you exposing yourself to when it comes to elevating yourself, when it comes to your love life, when it comes to just being a better you? If you find yourself preoccupied with when the next real housewives, when the, excuse me, when the real, when the next real housewives of Atlanta is coming on, then that right there is a problem. You know, if you're always focused on that, preoccupied with scandal, preoccupied with all these other television shows that really are depicting relationships in such a way that really are beneficial to you and your relationship, then what do you expect your relationship will be? Because you will become what you think about, and what you think about is what you're exposed to. I'm glad you all watch our videos, because when you watch our videos, you see a couple, a healthy relationship, a couple interacting and engaging in such a way that it's positive, it's uplifting. When you watch some of these other television shows, what you're exposed to is, is really immoral characters. You're exposed to just negativity, a whole bunch of infighting, backfighting, backstabbing, lack of trust, and fidelity, et cetera, et cetera. And these things do happen. Uh, my wife, she's trying to chime in on the video <laughs> from the couch. But she says that they normalize those experiences, which is absolutely true. They do normalize those experiences, and because they normalize it, you actually internalize the normalization of the experience. And in doing so, it becomes a part of your reality. And then you start to look for those experiences to play out in your relationship, which then becomes problematic because the way for you to have a successful relationship is not to internalize the normalization of negativity, but to reject the normalization of negativity and incorporate positivity into your relationship and turn yourself in a direction that would actually elevate and uplift you versus destroy and defame your relationship. So again, I just encourage you all, to, to protect your mind, watch your mind, watch what you put into your mind, and, 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 and really um, turn this thing around by really focusing on what's, what's for the betterment of your relationship versus looking at everybody else's relationship that ain't working. You know, if you focus and you're preoccupied on what other people are doing wrong, more than likely what you'll end up doing is following the people who are currently doing stuff wrong, and you'll find yourself in the same space that they're in. Be careful, y'all. Protect your mind. Protect, protect your heart, protect your relationship, and as always, stop playing, start pushing.